Here in full bloom and glorious bloom is Vitex agnus castus. You'll find blooms on this plant from June all the way up until frost. These beautiful spires of blooms. Uh, I'm always impressed by the back of the foliage of this plant, the silvery backs to the leaves, uh, but it will continue to bloom. It's this upright shrub. You should smell the foliage. It almost has a menthol-y type smell to it. Totally covered in bees and different pollinators right now. Vitex agnus castus, a shrub for the full sun, for a full sun area. Let, plant it someplace where it can get quite large and really do its thing. Vitex agnus castus, the chase tree. It has opposite leaf arrangement, but is palmately compound with five to seven perhaps in some cases nine leaflets that are quite lanceolate. Vitex can get up to 20 foot high and 20 foot wide, but you can prune it and take out old uh, branches if it's starting to get larger to rejuvenate it. But again, if you can plant it in an area where it's allowed to become a giant 20 by 20 mound, that is one of the best places. There are a few dwarf cultivars available on the market, uh, but having a big, large grand Vitex is a really nice thing. Now Vitex is hardy from zone seven through eight in Knoxville, Tennessee, in different parts of Tennessee, even West Tennessee, in extreme cold winters, uh, below 10 degrees, you could perhaps get Vitex to freeze back down to the ground, but then after that dieback, it will come back uh, and, and come back. But typically we don't see a full shrub dieback, hardy from zone seven through eight. Here's a landscape tip. Native to Europe and Asia, this plant's foliage and flower is a unique addition to the landscape. Again, native to Europe and Asia, this plant's foliage and flower is a unique addition to the landscape. Now, the common name is chaste tree. So it'd be kind of fun for you to look up why they call it chaste tree. There's a lot of history, folklore behind that. Great plant though for the home landscape, especially in the full sun.